Why we are going to see how to do the label setup in TVS LP46 Lite or how to create a new page design for your predefined sticker. Example, if you are using three uh, three column sticker and then the sticker width is 35 mm into 25. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So go to control panel, hardware and sound, devices and printer. Just right click on the driver. This is TVS LP46 light driver. Barcode printer TT06550. Just right click here. Go to printing preferences. If you want to create a new page size, you have to go to printing preferences. Go to printing preferences. Go to page setup. Here you can able to see new edit. Two options were there. And stop. Here only you need to create a new design. So I'm going to click new here. Here you can able to see first one is name. I'm going to give new sticker. 35 x 25 this is the name and then in type you can able to see there are three options are there die cut labels continuous continuous variable length and pixel length here we are having die cut labels so wherever this tearable gap stickers were there that is called die cut labels so usually generally maximum people will be using die cut label only select die cut labels with so here you need to mention including all three stickers with so as I told you already, the sticker width is 35 mm. So I'm gonna mention here 105. So maximum width, including three stickers width, you need to mention here. And then sticker height is 25 mm. I mention 25 mm. I'm just going to click OK. And then here I have selected. Just click apply. There are some other settings also you can look for. If you want to make some different settings like in method. I have set it here use current printer settings default settings it will take or else if you want to mention here you can able to see direct thermal thermal transfer two options were there if you are using direct thermal stickers you have to select this direct thermal method in this talk you need to select direct thermal if you are using ribbon rule you need to select thermal transfer so I have just let it here use current printer settings and then type in method you have to select either you are using ribbon or not in type you have to mention what kind of sticker you are using label with gaps or else label with marks or else continuous so here i'm going to select label with gaps or else we can let it less current printer settings to make this printer to work in its default settings so just click ok page setup just click ok that's all the page setup is completed now this is how we have to create a new pages in label printers thank you